Hey guys, it's a metallic fanatic, and I thought I would show a surprise, surprise, another knife. Now this one is very unusual, and when I bought it, I said this looks like something familiar to me, but it didn't really click into exactly what it was until I got it in my hands and did a little memory research. And I'm I'm ashamed that I didn't recognize what it what it originally looked like since my dad used one of these in his profession. Uh, my dad was a barber. In any case, uh, well, among other things, but he, he was a uh, he was a gone went to barber college barber, and this is a the Mtech uh, uh, USA. It's a fixed blade knife. It's a uh, it's it's a uh, number is the MT twenty twenty five S, and this is a pretty uh, alarming looking knife if you've got any sense of history. Uh, I guess basically since it's an invention, but especially in the uh, 19th, maybe late 19th and, and into the 20th century, uh, the uh, most devastating weapon on the street was probably not a gun. It was a straight razor. And this, in my opinion, whether intentional, whether intentional or unintentional, and I don't see how it could be unintentional, is a direct copy of a straight razor. And uh, it's not that sharp. At least it wasn't that sharp. I did sharpen this one, so it's it's considerably sharper. I didn't go razor sharp with it yet, uh, but uh, it is it's very sharp. I could make it slightly sharper, but uh, let me let me just take a little piece of paper here. I've got folded. Let me get rid of a, a layer here, so uh, it's a little bit more flexible. So this is a. See, it's, it's, I got a little tear there, so it's not it's not razor sharp, but pretty doggone sharp. You know, it's it's just brush it's brush across the paper kind of sharp. It's not it's nothing we would call razor sharp, but it's sharp enough. I do get a little tear. But this is a very thick knife. It goes from very narrow to very thick very quickly. So uh, that can also cause an issue. And I can just go in. And I did sort of sharpen the point. So it is it is not razor sharp, but darn close. And uh, now this one is one if you if you have it on the streets. Now it's not a long knife. It's it's only eight. It's only eight inches, which makes the blade uh, probably four and a half inches which is uh, basically legal in a lot of jurisdictions. Uh, uh, now whether or not that jurisdiction makes that legality a fixed blade or not is something you'd have to consider for yourself. But this is not uh, uh, something that you would carry and flash, uh, and flash uh, freely because it could, uh, could draw some attention to people who have badges and can, uh, can give you a place to stay for the night or cost you, or take your knife and cost you huge amounts of money. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I, d I do like it. It's uh, it's very, it's very. Uh, it fits your hand. Uh, it you know it has a little block here, so you're not going to. There's no danger of you sliding across that knife unless you really make an effort. At it. And it does, it does have a slight loop here, uh, and uh, so it could be it could te technically be used as a neck knife, I suppose, and just hang it hang it down like this or so. Uh, in fact, it's got this little, it's got this little neck holder, but it's a very, very heavy knife for that purpose. Uh, I don't think I would use it as a, as a neck knife. But uh, so this is this is basically a knife. It's definitely a knife. It's not a straight razor. It, it's a very thick blade, like I told you. But uh, this is definitely uh, uh, sometimes I call something called a thread index. If you pull this out, your thread index goes way up. So it's also a thread index means that it's not a knife that you would flash around randomly. It's something you would have a purpose in carrying. And you know, if you just open box, it's a great box opener because it does have at point there. So it really does go in very easily. Did this piece of paper, I just dash and pull. So it it does go in very easily with that point. So it could open boxes very easily. So you know, it it it, it does have some uh, some very good. Uh, practical purposes but uh, I like it it's a very nice knife and uh, like I said it's not something I would carry out on a, on a daily basis but you know if you have a special purpose or if you're going out somewhere 
outside a jurisdiction that has a problem, then uh, I don't see a big deal. Uh, anyway, I just want to let you down on that one and give it a check. It's the it's the uh, it's the uh, MTech and it's the uh, twenty dash twenty five S. There's also a black bladed one of those, one of these, and uh, this one which looks extraordinarily like a straight razor. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time and see if I got something new. Well, I have something new. I just sort of have to just bring it out gradually. I'll talk to you later.